Good morning, folks. It may be day one in the new world order, but it's time to immediately put the nonsense of Earthlings behind us because it's like the Earth wanted to remind everyone who's boss yesterday. What I'm going to tell you today is far more important. The Earth is gearing up faster than we thought. By the way, these glitches on the solar images is them rolling the spacecraft to flip which side faces the sun. Now to prepare to flip the mental switch at spaceweathernews.com. It's pretty obvious the sun went quiet, at least on the Earth facing half. The active regions are clustered on the far side and we are left with a coronal hole beginning to depart. The last solar wind event is over. Top left box, the purple line rose and is descending back down. Geomagnetism following suit, bottom right. That coronal hole we just saw could re-intensify the solar wind tonight or tomorrow, but it's not expected to be major. Mount Merapi went off the last few hours. It is the second in a couple of days in that part of the world after Sinabung let off earlier in the week. Fiery flows down the mountain. Folks, in the last two day shows, we identify the high risk seismic areas and then the next day, they took the largest quake of the day. Observers know our big seismic thing since 2011 is that you can predict them with electromagnetic signals. Dr. Pullen, it's one of the authors on this paper, was the inspiration and is one of the authors of the AGU's textbook on pre-seismic signals. The big 2017 Mexico quake analyzed here is by far our most famous predicted quake. We alerted only about 150 miles around the epicenter. Folks, this is real. You can predict earthquakes. Dozens of people have done it, and it's chapter 7 in our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Now folks, just as there are little quakes, volcanoes, and meteors as the mini versions of the mega events that occur less frequently, the same is true every day with Earth's rotation. It's not constant. It changes every day, and we also see anomalies in the deviation beyond what's expected, with the impulsive or acute events statistically tied to strong solar storms and core geomagnetic jerks. Now, since records began about 50 years ago, the shortest day glitched at about 1.5 milliseconds. This record was broken in 2020, get this, 28 times. 28 times. This is not normal. This is not good. The scientists actually say they see evidence to expect an even more extreme 2021. And for those who know what the bigger version of an Earth rotation glitch is, happens about every 12,000 years, this is about the most unnerving thing I have ever had to report. These glitches are tied to the low velocity zone, where solid rock defies logic on top of a liquid rock ocean. And instead of floating around like pieces of driftwood, they are locked together with a thermoelectric plasticity. This is the region of Earth most likely to be responsible for unlocking the crust and the great cyclical disaster of this planet. And folks, this is what our upcoming book is about. What we made a movie about, 45 episodes, and did three more in that next disaster series as the new year turned over. We are due in the cycle. We are seeing the magnetic changes on Earth. And we're seeing those magnetic changes already known to be tied to rotation glitches now taking over presumably at the thermoelectric plasticity of the low velocity zone which would cause more glitches as it unlocks we greatly appreciate your support both our textbook and the pre-order of the next end of the world are at otf.cells.com and we have decided the ongoing runs are to be the last no additional ones will be printed we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear. Be safe, everyone.